Hello YouTube, this is Impressive Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to make a rotated 3D text effect in Cinema 4D. So, let's get started. So, what you want to go to is up top here where it says MoGraph, and pick MoText. And you're going to change the text to whatever you want. I'm going to put hello for this tutorial. And you're going to change the depth from 20 to 100 and you can also pick a font you want to use if you want this font just leave a comment below and I'll put the link in the description to get it so after you've done this you're gonna go up to topper and just rename this to the text you put so mine was hello, so I'm just going to put hello. Then you're going to push control C and control V. Now we'll just copy your first text. So for the copy text, you're going to change the depth from 100 to 80. Then you're going to go over here where it says caps. Then change the start cap to fill cap. You're going to change the radius to 3. And for the end cap, you're going to change that to fill cap also. And the radius to 3, 2. Alright, so you're going to move the copy text into the middle of the original text. So just go above the text and just get it centered up. So that looks good right there. And then you're going to want to uh, add a light in there. So go up to this white orb at the top here and then hold down and then click on light and then just drag the light out and then drag it up that looks good and then you're going to select both texts so you're just going to drag up over here and this will highlight both of them and you're going to push C on the keyboard now we'll give these like little plus signs right here so you can drop them down so for the original text drop down the plus signs till you get the letters right here and then just click on the first letter and hold down shift and select the last letter now hide them all and you're just going to drag them up underneath the copy text and then you can just delete this and then just do the same for the copy text drag all the pluses down copy the letters and then this for this one you're going to drag it down on top of the first letter just like this and then just delete this now you'll have it should look like this and then what you're going to do is drag each letter on top of the letter that is the same so this I'll drag this H on top of this H and then it's E on top of the C and this L on top of this L. And yeah, you get the point. So just click on the first letter and then drag it on the same letter. So just drag it on top. So just like that right here. And then just do the same for each letter. Alright. Then once you have that done you're going to uh, group each letter so just click on I'm going to click on my H and then select the other H so you're going to push control down and then click the other H or whatever letter you're going to be using and then you're going to push out G and this will group them together and then you're just going to do that for the each letter so I'll just do this real quick Alright, there we go. Now it should look like this. It should all be grouped in together. So I'll just drop all these pluses down to show you. So now for the rotating, just click on the group and then push R on the keyboard. This will allow you to rotate the letter. So 
Just rotate it to however you want. And just do that <coughs> for each letter. So, yeah. And also, if you need to move your letters closer together, um, just go up to the top right over here and then click this directional arrow. This will allow you to move them around. So just move them closer if they're too far apart or move them, <coughs> move them apart. Sorry about that. So I need to move this, yeah, move that L farther apart. And that looks pretty good. Now to add color to it, so come down to the bottom here where it says materials, and just double click. And then just click on the ball, and this will bring you to the editor menu. And then just choose what other color you want. I'm just going to pick a red. And I'm going to put a reflection at 20%. And then also I'm going to get a chrome color, so I'm just going to leave it at the same color and just put a reflection at 100%. Then I'm going to come over here to the red and just drag it on top or in front of my letters. And then I'm going to come over here and then just hold control down and then drag them down on the second letter since the top is, or the front of them, the front of the letters is the second letter. And then I'm going to add my chrome now since I know where my reds are. This just makes it easier than just dragging them on the letter and doing it that way, but you can do it which other way you want. I'm just going to render this just to see what it looks like. And you can see how the chrome right here is reflecting off the letters. But that's uh, so that's how you make a rotated text. And also I'm going to go over the render settings for you guys. So go to output and then change the width to 1280 by 720 or whatever your screen re or resolution is. And you're also going to go to save and save this to wherever you want. I'm going to just save this to my desktop. And you're going to go to format, you're going to pick PNG, and you're going to check alpha channel. And then you're going to go to this anti whatever. And then instead of geometry, make it best. And that's pretty much it for the render settings. And then all you do is just click the spindle action clip button right here. And this will render it for you. And it's done. And here it is on my desktop. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And if this tutorial helped you, please like the video and also subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys later. Peace.